<laughs> I'm Stu Gotts. How do you pronounce your last name, Riley? Opelka. Opoka. Okay. Yeah, it's too low. It's unacceptable. So I got many rackets here. I have, you know. Hey, Riley, why don't you try some of these, man? Uh huh? I bet you can't do these. I don't think so. Yeah. Ooh, I'm tired. Can you do that? Can you, yeah, can you do that? Oh, probably not. Oh my God! I got surgery on my left knee many years ago. Tennis injury, yeah. Yeah, Port Washington Tennis Academy. I bet you Riley's heard of the Port Washington Tennis Academy. Damn it, he hasn't. I am winded. A couple tennis players stretching it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm bringing this foot on the outside of my hand. Oh my God. We are at a tennis court right now with Red Bull athlete Riley Opelka. That's not him, that's Stugatz. <laughs> Stugatz thinks that he can return a serve from a professional tennis player. This yeah. is a bit that we've talked about for a long time. Mm -hmm. And not to be outdone by Stugatz, Greg Cody decided to make this about himself, so he's also here. <laughs> and Riley Opelka, by the way, is 6'11". Stugatz is not. No. So he might have a little bit of a height advantage, but we're going to find out if this is something that we can actually do here. So, But did you notice when I got here, the person asked if I was indeed Riley? <laughs> he did, and he said, I'm Stu Gotts. Uh, and do I get to serve to Riley? See if he can yes. my serve. Yes, I think, I think we should uh, also do that. That's okay. a good idea. I think I'll break my back if I try to serve right now. <laughs> well, I don't. if you're going to break your back, I don't know what's going to happen to Greg Cody. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to break everything. Uh, I've been training for this all my life. Like for the last 10 or 15 minutes, I've been working toward this moment, so. All right, we are here uh, at a tennis court. I wish this tennis court had a name, but it doesn't. It's just a tennis court somewhere in Miami, okay? <laughs> somewhere. Uh, anyway, I'm about to uh, try to return a single serve, just one out of 10, from a professional tennis player. His name is Riley. How do you pronounce your last name, Riley? Opelka. Opelka. Okay, Riley, correct me if I'm wrong. I've studied your tendencies. You're a very big serve and volley guy. <laughs> I think that you like to take people outside, so I'm going to be guessing outside. But don't be surprised if I drag you outside and come back into the middle. I'm going to play some head games with you, Riley. What do you think? That didn't really make sense <laughs> in the tennis world. Yeah. Well, I think what you like to do is try to get a little kick outside, and then you rush the net, and if I return it, you have the whole court open for a net, you know, for a little volley, a little serve and volley. Uh, so I'm just going to guess outside with you, all right? I don't want you to give anything away, but I'm going to guess you're going to try to kick it outside, and uh, if I return it, we're going to play a point. I, I could use the body serve today. <laughs> all right, yeah, good luck. You going this way? Yeah, which way are you going? This way? You got that? You got that? Yo, that, that bounced a different way when it hit. Out. Oh, shit. Get out! Same spot, shit. Damn it! All right, man. what are we doing? How many more? Good night, everyone. Yeah, it's too low. It's unacceptable. These things are bouncing way too high. I feel like he's serving better to me than he did to Christopher. I'm not even sure if I got the strings on that one, but I did get the racket on it, so. Stu is now taking part in a commercial. Uh, what? Let's see Stu Gatz's acting chops here. They're gonna do a Red Bull commercial. He's the coach for Riley Opelka. He's gonna come over and see Stu Gatz's coach who's holding a Red Bull. Jess, what are your thoughts on Stu Gatz's acting performance so far? Not bad so far. He just handed him a Red Bull. He hasn't said anything. We can't hear what he's saying. He did this Stu Gatz thing where he like turns his head and looks like he's saying, ah, buddy. That Red Bull's hot, right? That Red Bull's definitely hot, but it probably still tastes good. Lewis, I don't know if you can uh, pan over to my bag. I noticed, Riley, are you sure you brought enough equipment? Yeah. Uh, because that's my bag right there. I have 15 rackets in there. You've never faced my return of serve before, have you? I'm gonna break your strings, Riley. Let's, let's see it. Okay. Let's go, he's ready to go. I'm ready to go, let's go. I'm gonna return all 10 right now. Couple of tennis players playing points. Oh my god. Oh! 
That spin. <laughs> All right, now I'm serious. Jesus. Oh, I had that, Riley. Oh. All right. I'm taking this shit seriously now. Oh. I call this matching heat with heat. Yeah, I'm ready. It's a uh, parliament menthol. You want one? Oh! Oh, I should have had that. Oh! I think I figured it out. That was so close. Oh my God. Oh! Thank you, thank you. 6-0, 6-0. Well, Greg Cody and Chris Cody were not able to return a serve, so we have sent them into the ocean, but our man Stu got here. He did return one serve from Riley Opelka. Uh, I returned three serves. Uh, the uh, camera wasn't rolling for the other two, but I did get one. We played the point out. Uh, I won the point. So we leave it as I'm up 15 love on Riley. <laughs> How about that? I, that, um, that's a classic Stu Gatz lie, but that's okay. He returned one, which was the bet. He, he accomplished the bet. He was right. He was able to return one serve. It was a very fast serve. I believe he was hitting them like 130, 140 miles per hour. So The one I hit was 155 miles per hour. Though. It wasn't, but that's okay. That's okay. I think we have to give Stu Gatz some credit for this one. I'm, I'm a little shocked. I think the heater maybe gave you some special strength that you didn't know you had in you, but... You did better than Greg and Chris, which is saying maybe not a lot. Uh, that's setting the bar very, very low. I made this bet 12 years ago. Like, imagine what I would have done 12 years ago. Like, I probably would have went 10 for 10. I, I would have left the court up 6-0. Forget about 15 love. I mean, Riley's uh, he's just okay. Uh, he's a very good, very good tennis player. He's a Red Bull athlete. So thank you to Red Bull for having us out here. I mean, Stugats. <laughs>